We're back here now with Mike Neighbors, the head coach of Arkansas, here for the Run for Roses Classic. Good to see you, Coach. Hey, How you too, doing? Man. Good. Yeah. Doing great. What's going on? How can you not be loving this? I know, right? Look at that wall. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. And yeah. All these courts. You and a thousand of your other uh, yeah. coaching friends here. Right? Exactly. <laughs> My closest ones. Yeah. How is that? What is that like? You know, I'm sure it's great to see some of your uh, colleagues and people you know well, but yeah. but it's a it's a recruiting thing here. You know, oh, we're sure. trying to get these girls to come to your programs. What's it all like? It is, know? but it's different than games. Yeah. You know, when you're at games, it's it's head to head. It's even them. Ah, we're all together. It's very collegial. We spend a lot of time off the court together doing That's things cool. and. In a city like this, you know, with uh, all the things to do, we uh, yeah. we stay up late and talk ball. Yeah, you have to be here, right? I mean, if yeah. you're not, you're you're totally missing out. Yeah, they somebody's got to be here. They'd have been better putting the teams that aren't here up on that right, wall. Right, right. Exactly. A lot smaller wall, that's <laughs> yeah. for sure. So, right. Yeah, of, it's a great opportunity. Of, of all divisions, really. I mean, you coach at the high school level. Yeah. You're getting started out. You know, I've been assistant coach at college now at Arkansas. You're alma mater, yeah. so you you've run the gamut and, and know what it's like from the from bringing these kids up to where you are now. Well, an event like this helps everybody. Yeah. It, it helps every player be exposed. It helps every program see the kids that they need to help build their certain situation. And uh, you come in, you park one time, you're under one roof all day long, right. you're not running back and forth. And uh, uh, it, it's a, such a great deal for these kids. And then we take it as a benefit for the coaches as well. You guys uh, went to the Final Four in 2016 when yeah. you are back at Washington. Uh, now you're at Arkansas, you're alma mater. But how difficult is it to do that? I mean, can you describe you know, in the landscape of college basketball these days to be able to get to one of the highest levels? Well, it takes the right people being at the right time. And we were very lucky with a group of recruiting class that came in together and stuck together. Uh, and then as juniors, you really peaked at the right time. Uh, it's hard to do it at a place in women's basketball that hadn't done it before. Right. We've got some very tradition-rich programs that are there, you know, uh, you almost so consistently yeah. uh, that it's hard for a new team to break in. but. Every now and then a team will do it, and it gives everybody hope. Uh, but then to come home to an alma, my alma mater, a, a place where uh, I've had so many good memories to be passionate about, uh, we can do it there. Yeah, You can do it. You use that same blueprint, but it's all about getting the right people. And that's great because I don't think people really understand until you know, you know if you go back to the place where you were and how much more you know, extra that gives you, you know what I mean, when this is where you went to school. You yeah, know? it's, uh, you can say you're prepared for it, but you're not really. Okay. Until you get back home, uh, you've got college friends, high school friends, you've got family. I had 94 people on the pass list for home games. Oh, wow. You know, I'm at Washington, I, I was lucky if I could give my tickets away to my, <laughs> my cleaner. You know, ah, we may come, we may not, but, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's been a unique balance. My daughter and my son are there, so... For 20 years, I was all over the country, different places, and to be home, it does make it special, but uh, it, it makes you want to do it just, just that much more. Right, exactly. You know, just exactly. that much more. How about the landscape of uh, women's college basketball today, okay? I mean, give me give me your take um, years ago, where we are now, where it still needs to go, sure. you know what I mean? Well, I think exposure is that one thing we're always going to be striving for. Okay. Um, being able to get our product out in front and let people see the game that we all love. Some people will tell you this game's dying. Yeah. All right, I'm not buying it. It's yeah. not, it's, uh, it is becoming a very cohesive group. And I think we need to continue to just to uh, put the product out there and let people make up their own mind. I think we've got to stop judging it by attendance though. Yeah. People don't go to things live as, any, as much anymore. Yeah. I, I know I don't, and I love sports, but I still like to sit on my couch and watch five or six games in one day. Yeah. So. I think we've got to come come up with a different standard or a different metric to measure interest because the interest is still there. It might not be butts in the seats, um, but it is certainly there. You can feel it with our kids and our programs. Their life after basketball is growing. So our game's in a good spot, but we do have to continue to be on the cutting edge of, of what's coming up next and prepare because there's, there's a lot of competition out there for people's entertainment time. Right. Whether it's on your phone or live in person, so it's really a great point that you bring it up because, but that's in our industry. You know, here we are in the TV. Sure, we talk about ratings and this and that. Listen, you can even take something like a NASCAR, for instance, where 150,000 people watch a race. Now it's like kind of in half, but it's still one of the highest rated things. Sure. You know, it's still a very big sport. I do lacrosse in the springtime. You know. Probably not a million viewers because there's only 78 Division One teams, but it's one of the fastest growing sports at yeah. the high school level. You see me with women's basketball here. You're yeah. absolutely right. We got over 11,000 players here, a thousand yeah. teams. 
I think it's growing the level of the player. Sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. No, there's right? no question. You look at the, the the standard of what a Division One athlete is in 2019 compared to what it was in 2009. Right. It's leaps and bounds different. Um, the the grassroots program is maligned by a lot of people uh, that don't understand what's going on here this weekend. It is the it is the lifeblood of what continues to happen at the, the next level all the way up. And we couldn't be doing it without these people giving up their time uh, and their energy, especially during the month of July. Right, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's a perfect time to have it, though. And, you know, it helps cut down on your travel a little bit, too, running all over the place. It trying does. to watch some of the best players. I'm on one airplane. Yeah. I'm on one airplane this July, and normally it would be six or seven. Yeah. But when you get these events concentrated in this area and you get the number of teams, you can stay in one hotel, you can rent a car, and you can drive back and forth between. It's great. That's awesome. Well, listen, I uh, wish you the best of Thanks. luck uh, in the upcoming you season. You're all the mind. Thanks you so bet. much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, you got it. Okay. Mike Neighbors, head coach of Arkansas, with us here at the run for Rose's Classic.